Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we'll discuss three advanced tips on Cloud Shell environment. I have already shared some uh, useful tips in my YouTube channel already, so you can look into those uh, videos. Today we'll look into the three advanced tips. Tip number one, when you have a Kubernetes cluster already provisioned in your uh, Google Cloud console, and if you want to interact uh, with that using kubectl command, the first step which you do is go to your Kubernetes cluster, click on connect, and you can copy this get credentials uh, command where you paste that in your Cloud Shell environment and you start executing your kubectl command. That's the usual procedure, right? But behind the scene, what really happens if you are interested, we'll see that today. So let me just print my working directory. I'm in my current uh, home folder. And if I put ls minus a, where I list all my hidden files, you'll see there's no folder with the name dot cube. So that's very important for this tip. So now if I copy this command, get credentials, once it gets executed, it creates a folder. So after this, you can definitely use your kubectl command, but behind the scene, what it actually does is it creates a folder with the name dot cube, which was not there in the previous before we executed this. And now when we executed it for the first time, it creates this folder. Let's go into this folder and see what is there. And if I see there's a config file and if you just go into that, you will see there are lots of contents there. It has the cluster information, the certificate details, uh, and it will also have the context information. So this will be really helpful when you have multiple Kubernetes clusters to connect. So if you have multiple clusters to connect every time when you launch your Cloud Shell environment, you don't need to always click on connect. Instead, you can use a command called as a get context. So just search for that information, kubectl get context. You'll be able to switch the context by that command. You don't need to do this multiple times. So that's the tip number one. So let me go back to my home folder. The next tip is whenever you want to copy certain files or upload certain files to your Google Cloud storage bucket. What is the usual command? GSUtil, right? So let's do that today also. But let's see, understand how these two environments get authenticated or these two servers get authenticated, Cloud Shell and your Google Cloud storage. So for that, if I just put ls minus a, keep an eye here. There's no file with the name or folder with the name dot GSUtil. Now, when I run gsutil command to copy the files, definitely the files will get copied, but the, the important thing behind the scene which happens is it creates a, a folder, similarly like .q file, it creates a folder called as .gsutil where all the credential information is stored. So let's see that. Let me, let me just make this slightly bit higher so that you can see it ls minus a if you see this you see that before there was no dot gsutil now there is a dot gsutil if you are interested to see what is there just cd into that and you should see some credential information are there so what would be the use of this tip is if you give some new roles to a specific, uh, maybe to a specific storage related uh, role and that is not reflecting immediately and you don't have time to wait for that role change to propagate properly and you want to do it immediately, what I can do is simply go and delete my .gsutil folder and sorry, .gsutil folder and you should be able to see the change reflecting immediately. So this is tip number two. The last tip, if you have a requirement uh, where you want to use a custom Docker image for your Cloud Shell environment, for folks who don't know this, uh, behind the scene, Cloud Shell environment also uses a Docker image, which comes with lots of utilities, very basic utilities like uh, curl, get, and runtimes like Java, Java.net, Node.js, PHP, Python, and utilities like uh, Docker, kubectl, there are lots of utilities which comes pre-packaged. 
but if your day-to-day -day activity requires certain more stuffs and you want that to be part of your docker part of your cloud shell environment what you can do is just click on edit create an image, docker image based on what is the utility you want then click on edit and come select here and select the project of your choice where where that image is already pushed into your gcr google container uh, registry and just save it once you do that you can have your own custom cloud shell environment and you can use it for your day-to-day -day activity and there's a nice article which is recently created where they use the same concept of a custom image to have terraform and helm uh, customized and they want to run that in cloud shell environment so this is tip number three so hope these three advanced tips on cloud shell environment is useful Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific GCP concept. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.